Okay, this video is going to help us convert our equations uh, to slope-intercept form and standard form. Uh, this is the follow-up to the previous uh, lesson where we learned how to write equations in point-slope form. Uh, so what we're going to work on now is changing point-slope form into, all right, either slope-intercept form or standard form. So remember in our last lesson that point slope form was y equals m times quantity x minus x1 plus y1. Uh, and then at times we may want to change to slope intercept form uh, because maybe that's what the question asked for. Or it's also a great way to check to see if you're correct. And uh, possibly standard form which is ax plus by equals c. All right, so let's just jump into some examples All right, and look at what we need to do. Okay, so let's talk about getting to slope-intercept form first. Now, what I have are three equivalent forms that could have been written um, from a graph of the same line. All right, notice they all three have the same slope, but they have different initial points. Now, if we think about slope-intercept form, we know that that is y equals mx plus b. All right, so what we want to do is change this so that it looks like y equals mx plus b. So the first step in doing this is to distribute our slope to the two quantities inside of our parentheses. So if I do that, I get negative 2 thirds x minus 16 thirds. I want to just bring down the minus 2 here. And then the final step is just to, to combine these two like terms out here. So negative 16 thirds minus 2 would be negative 22 thirds. And so notice we are now in slope intercept form. So we can see that our slope or rate of change is negative two thirds. And then our y intercept is the point zero negative 22 thirds, just like that. So it's really just a two step process uh, from point slope form to get it into slope intercept form. All right, moving to our uh, middle example here. Uh, once again, I'm just going to distribute, all right, our slope to those two quantities. So I get negative 2 thirds x minus 10 thirds. And I want to bring down the minus 4 here. And then once again, our final step, all right, is just to combine our two like terms here. Negative 10 thirds minus 4 is, once again, negative 22 thirds. And so you can see that the two equations here are, in fact, equivalent, even though they look different uh, when we first started. So this is something that you need to know and understand um, is that you may work the problem out and that there are an infinite amount of equivalent forms because there's an infinite amount of points on a line. Now if you would like you can pause the video uh, and you can convert this third equivalent form to slope intercept form and once again you should come up with y equals negative two-thirds x minus 22 thirds. Okay now what we're going to do now is talk about how do I get to standard form. And what this is really, uh, what this really is, it's just another progression. Uh, we do this the same way. Um, we started the prior problem is that we have to get to slope intercept form first, and then uh, we will take slope intercept form into standard form. So I'm going to um, do the same thing I did in the prior slide. Okay, I'm going to distribute our negative two thirds here. All right, so you can see this looks exactly like what we did. Combine like terms. So negative two-thirds x minus 22 thirds. So we get to slope intercept form. Now from here, if you recall, all right, standard form looks like ax plus by equals c. So one of the first things we want to do as we go from uh, slope intercept form to standard form is clear our denominators. We don't want any fractions when we are in standard forms. So when I look at my denominators, I'm going to multiply by the least common multiple. In this case, it's pretty easy. They both have a 3 for the denominator. So that one means I want to multiply this entire equation by 3. So 3 times y is 3y. 3 times negative 2 thirds x is just going to be negative 2x. And then 3 times negative 22 thirds leaves us just negative 22. Now the final step uh, if you look up here is that notice the x term is on the left hand side with the y term. So what we want to do now is just add our 2x to the left hand side. All right, and remember these are not like terms so I cannot combine them but I can write them separately. 2x plus 3y equals to negative 22. And now we have standard form. So really it's just a 
four-step process from start to finish if we want to go from uh, point slope form all the way to standard form. All right, two steps to get us into slope intercept form and then possibly two steps to get us into standard form. Okay, so let's look at uh, one more example together here uh, before you do some independent practice. All right, so what we're going to do is go to slope intercept form and then from there we will go to uh, standard form. All right, so I'm going to distribute, distribute, so y equals 5 halves x minus 5 halves and then plus 1. All right, I am going to combine like terms. So negative 5 halves plus 1 would be negative 3 halves. All right, so now we are in slope intercept form. Okay, so now we are going to move to standard form. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear those denominators. I'm going to multiply the entire equation by 2. So 2y two equals 2 times 5 halves x is just going to be 5x. 2 times negative 3 halves is going to be negative 3. And then my final step is to move this x term to the left-hand side of our equation. So I get negative 5x plus 2y equals 2 negative 3. All right, so as you can see, uh, not a very complex uh, process. It involves all steps that we have discussed uh, at some point throughout uh, first semester, uh, just kind of putting that all together. All right, so now what I'd like you to do, all right, is go ahead and pause the video at this time, and I would like you to uh, work both of these examples, all right, and I would like you to convert both of them to slope intercept form, and then convert it to standard form. All right, so go ahead and pause uh, the video, do these two problems yourself, uh, and then what I'm going to do at this time is go ahead and work through them so that you can see the work and then compare your answer, all right, to what I have here. All right, so I'm going to distribute, distribute, so y equals negative 2x plus 4 plus 2, and then combine like terms, and there is slope-intercept form. Now, do notice this time, this is a little bit easier. Notice there are no fractions, so we do not have to clear any denominators. So the only step I have to do to get this into standard form is move that x term over. So your final answer for standard form would just be 2x plus y equals to 6. Okay, now to check your second example, I'm going to distribute and distribute. So y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 1 half and then minus 5. If we combine like terms, all right, this is going to be negative 9 halves. Now notice in this case we have two denominators, 4 and 2. So I do want to clear those denominators out. I want to multiply by the least common multiple of 4 and 2, which is 4. Okay, so 4 times y is 4y. 4 times uh, negative 1 fourth x is negative x. And then 4 times negative 9 halves is going to be negative 18. All right, and then our final step is to just move this x term to the left-hand side. All right, so x plus 4y equals to negative 18. All right, so hopefully you're getting the hang of this. Uh, and just to wrap up, if you need two more examples, once again, uh, work this problem. Go from point slope form to slope intercept form to standard form. Same with our next example. Uh, so just go ahead and pause the video, work through both of those, and then I will continue to do the work here so that you can compare your work. All right. So y would equal to negative 4x minus 20 minus 9 y would equal to negative 4x minus 29. Once again, notice uh, no fractions, so all I need to do is add our x term to the left-hand side. All right, so 4x plus y equals negative 29. So, all right, slope-intercept form, standard form. All right, and to wrap things up, negative 5, 6, negative 5, 6. So negative 5, 6, x plus 5, 6, minus 1. All right, I am going to combine like terms. So this is going to be minus 1, 6. All right, once again, notice we have fractions. All right, so I want to clear those fractions out. 
since they are both 6 in the set, what I'm going to multiply by. So 6y equals negative 5x minus 1. And then move our x term to the left-hand side. All right. So 5x plus 6y is equal to negative 1. All right, my friends. So what you need to be able to do now, all right, is you should be able to finish uh, in totality our worksheet unit 401 in class tomorrow. So you should have finished uh, this video as well as the prior video. Uh, come in with any questions and be ready to go to work. Thank you.